Hey everyone, Hobby Sai here. Just a quick video on how to connect your Octopus Various pumps to the GHL Proflux using 0 to 10 volt control. Uh, you're going to need a, a GHL breakout box as well as a 0 to 10 volt cable. Um, the one I used, I got from BRS, and I'll show, give you guys a link to that below. Uh, first things first, you want to make sure that you take the uh, 0 to 10 volt cable and you want to connect it to this cable right here. You want to connect it to your various controller. Okay? So once you've done that, you want to take that cable and route it to a place where uh, your breakout box will be. So I've already gone ahead and wired mine up, but let me show you guys what it's gonna look like. So when you actually get the cable, uh, it will um, have a ethernet-like port on it on one end. You're going to want to pop the cover off. You're going to want to take and cut that ethernet port off, okay? Uh, then you'll be exposing four different wires. You can completely dis disregard the orange ones. They're not gonna be uh, of use uh, in this particular case. Um, you're gonna wanna connect the blue one to the one to 10 volt into uh, number two. And then you're going to want to connect the green one, ground, to three. Uh, I went ahead and just used some hot glue gun just to lock that in place. Uh, you can do whatever method you want. You could even just leave the wires like that. But I like this method because it's a little more secure. So once you've gone ahead and do, done that, you can just go ahead and pop the cover back on again. Use your screws to secure that in place. Um, then, given the cable that it's included with the um, the breakout box, you want to go ahead and connect that to uh, the slot right here, which then will be connected to your Profilux right there. Yep, and that's how easy it is to connect it. You can then go into the app and uh, configure the control however you want. Zero voltage being the pump is basically off, uh, and then 100% being a, you know, 100% power, or 10 volt being 100% power. And you can do it, you know, you can schedule it to do whatever you want. It'll just change the voltage. Uh, you can change the voltage from anywhere from zero to 10, and have whatever percentage power, which gives a little bit more flexibility with just you know clicking the actual controller and adjusting the power manually. Okay, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe below.